Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, a new lawsuit has dropped, and it's Sean Diddy Combs, and baby, it is a Busby special. And if we were shocked at the age of the person in the last shoot, in the last uh, lawsuit, baby, this one is even worse. And it literally leads a lot of questions. For instance, forget about Diddy being it being his freak offs. Forget about all that stuff. Forget about Smex trafficking. Yes, as as forgetting about the rugged, forgetting about the threats, forgetting about the uh, uh, kabooies in the car, forget about all that. The question that I want every Diddy defender, including his grown ass children, Quincy, Justin, uh, Christian, defending this mofo, the question that nobody seems to want to ask, the question that busts the rhymes, we need to just wait to see what, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we need to wait to see what happens. The question that Bow Wow, Ray J, all these people that are defending Diddy and telling us to, to mind our business, to which I say no, the question that none of them have answered is, is Diddy a PDF file? Because the more and more evidence that comes out the more and more videotapes that come out, the more and more people that were actually at his Miami freakouts come out, the more it seems obvious that there is something as sick as everything else I just said, there is something even deeper and more sinister. Again, um, uh, Quincy talking about all these accusations are outlandish. Are they? It's just, is your father a PDF file? The New York Post says, that they saw pictures of Diddy with a much younger celeb. We do not know if that is underage, but Tony Busby has filed a new lawsuit and this is directly from, um, has filed a new lawsuit and this is directly from uh, uh, the Rolling Stones. They have an exclusive, they have the dream team, uh, Cheyenne Dillon, of course, uh, I'm sorry, Cheyenne Roundtree and Nancy Dillon. Let me pull this mess up for y'all to actually read. Uh, trigger warning, it is very, very disgusting. It's very, very disturbing. And as much as Diddy wants to say, oh my God, like this is outlandish. Where's the sworn affidavit that Diddy can sign under penalty of per uh, uh, perjury, a sworn declaration that all of this is lies and none of it happened. He won't sign that even when it comes to the youngins. Get this. Diddy has been sued for um, alleged SA of a 10-year-old rapper. The new lawsuit is the latest in a wave of rugging, grape, and smexual small allegations filed through lawyers who set up a victim's hotline. Let me tell you something. I know Diddy's lawyer's team and Charlamagne. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a travesty that you would make a mockery of justice. Baby, justice is whoever is a PDF file getting held to justice. I don't care if it was by a hotline. I don't care if it was by plane, train, automobile. I don't care if they were sending in little notes tied around a, a, a pigeon's leg. However you need to do to get these monsters off the street, you need to get them off the street. And let me tell you something, for anybody saying this is a prosecution of black men, don't you dare talk about the men in my culture in your culture. If you're watching it, this is a ditty issue for people to attribute that a successful uh, black billionaire who was thrown for being a PDF file, that this is about let the mofos pull that poison out of our communities. That's all I got to say. And listen, after Diddy's done with the court system, he gonna have to stand in front of God, but baby, I'm glad the court system is doing what they can. They said Sean Diddy Combs was hit with another disturbing lawsuit Monday as he sits in federal jail in Brooklyn. They complained about too. We'll talk about that. Awaiting trial on racketeering and smex trafficking charges. The new plaintiff says he has he was a 10-year-old aspiring rapper when Diddy allegedly rugged and raped him in a New York City hotel in 2005 during a purported audition. If this is true, I want to see a public apology from Diddy's kids saying, Daddy, we love you. Quincy, Christian, I'm sorry, grown men. Diddy. Christian, um, Justin, and also Quincy, Christian, Justin. Okay, that's it, right? I want to see that because at the end of the day, and let's also not forget that that one girl, uh, Tania, she was on Adam No Jumper, and she actually clarified and said, when I said that there were little people at the party, I met children, and they were dressed up as Harajuku Barbies. But hold on, let's get into this, right? 
They said the new complaint was filed by prominent Houston lawyer Tony Busby and his California counterpart, Andrew Van Arsdell, as the latest in a barrage of lawsuits from anonymous plaintiffs claiming they were sexually assaulted by Diddy. One of the plaintiffs have alleged that they were uh, uh, rugged, forced into blank acts without consent, and threatened into silence. In the new lawsuit filed in New York State Court in Manhattan, John Doe says his parents accompanied him to Manhattan to meet music industry executives, including Diddy, to advance his career. He says a consultant hired by his parents delivered him to a hotel room and then left him there with Diddy. According to the lawsuit, he was given a soda that he believed was laced with rugs. Y'all, I want the answer to this. Is Diddy a PDF file? And if he is, baby, there ain't no mercy or forgiveness on him on heaven, hell, on this earth. No, I'm not saying people need to take the vigilante justice. Let me be clear, because you know Diddy's team is putting 20 on 10. I am saying that we need to, one, let the courts deal with it. But, baby, we not being silent. I don't need, if there is proof that this happened, I don't need the judge to say guilty before you. No, 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 no. Diddy will be safe. And he will be locked in jail and we will make sure we destroy his public reputation. So whenever he gets out, if he's guilty of this for those horrible crimes against at being a PDF file, whenever he gets out, we can make sure that he will never make another dollar again. And no one that profited off of his sick, disgusting charades ever sees a dollar from that too. Right, Quincy? You better hope that reality TV show works out. They said after the plaintiff consumed his soda and began feeling its effects, Diddy told the 10-year-old to move closer to him, which he did. Let's not forget that if it is a date grape uh, uh, rug, that it makes you extremely com compliant. And when you suggest things, people do it. Even though in their head, they're like, why am I moving closer to you? You still move closer, okay? Then Diddy abruptly pushed him down and said the words to the effect of, you have to do some stuff you don't want to do sometimes. Once the he was push, uh, uh, once Diddy had pushed him down, he pulled out his yucky out of his pants and told the one zero year old to, oh my God, to kiss it. When he resisted, he nevertheless forced his blank into the mouth and proceeded to repeatedly push it in and out. He froze in terror. He lost consciousness and later woke up with his pants undone and pain in his nether regions. He alleges that his parents later noticed something was wrong. He says he told them what allegedly happened and that they were terrified of the potential consequences of reporting the abuse. Wow, even his parents failed him. Yo, even his parents failed him, which at the end of the day, this is still all on Diddy. And again, I know people are like, oh, what about the parents? Well, clearly his parents failed him. They were more, they did the I'll be sure special. They were more afraid of what was going to happen to them than actually looking out for their kid. But at the end of the day, we're not going to point fingers because again, we might not have the whole story. We're not going to point pit, uh uh, fingers, but I will say that, um, yeah, no, um, Diddy's going to have to pay for this if he did it. He alleges he suffers from severe depression, and anxiety, and had to be homeschooled after the alleged incident. I can imagine they didn't feel safe letting their kid back. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys, <sighs> Diddy's team says they have full confidence in the facts, their legal defenses, and the integrity of the judicial process in court. The truth will prevail that Diddy has never essayed anyone, adult or minor, man or woman. Yeah. This is some dark things, and I actually think this is 100% believable. I don't want to hear how come the parents didn't do anything because they didn't because they were scared. Diddy, according to federal government, was running a RICO. Again, we like to think of ramble fantasies that if it was our child, we would have fought to heaven and earth. And maybe that's true. And maybe the parents did drop the ball. But at the end of the day, we are not going to victim blame or shame. We need to get this monster. If you believe these things, who knows? Do we know if this lawsuit is true? No. After reading it, I find it very credible. 
I find it very disturbing. I find it very disgusting. And I do not believe that now we should be quiet about anything dealing with Diddy. Now is the time to turn up. Now is the time to make sure that Diddy can't make a penny off of his image. Because at the end of the day, that's all they care about. That's not even all those kids care about. Making sure that their daddy stay out of jail. May, and I'm, I'm, I'm done calling those boys kids. They are grown men. 30, 33, 26. They are grown men. But my point in saying this is those grown men have an interest in keeping their daddy out of jail because even though they might pray on other, that's how they make their money. Everything is attached to them. And at the end of the day, it's not just about keeping them out. It's about rebuilding um, their livelihood, their platform. Nah, baby. You keep standing next to that mofo, y'all all gonna go down with the ship. Again, much as people wanna say Christian is a good boy, Christian looked like he'd been taking lessons from his daddy. And there's a lot of things coming out about him and lawsuits coming about, 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 about him that he should be worried about. Justin, you tied to all those businesses. The only person that might not get pulled down with this is Quincy, okay? Again, Quincy needs to worry about making sure his sisters don't find out what a monster their daddy is as opposed to telling the public what he feels and believes. Cause clearly, if you believe the victims and I do, you ain't know your daddy too well. I'm sorry. You ain't know the man that's been mass that you don't know the man that's been masquerading as your daddy too long. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.